And next up we have Gate Wars Sprint, a lit RPG novella. It is written by A.E. Williams, the second book in the uh, Gate Wars series. Um, this is 56 pages. It's a short story, hoax. It is 99 cents. It's available on Kindle Unlimited. And here's the author's description. The Alterians, alien overlords, have conquered Earth and created the gates for races to battle in a battle royale across the galaxy. Will and Rachel have battled across their once prosperous city of Denver only to find an unforgiving new world. They enter the gates and they were victorious, but at a price. Not ready to pay that price, Will and Rachel must put their lives on the line again and again to earn enough currency to buy their way out of their problem. The only complication is that they have a time limit. They have 68 hours to earn the reward or their chance will be gone forever. Can Rachel and Will sprint to the finish and earn the reprieve or will their breakneck next pace cause them to get careless and lose out on the prize? So there you go. Um, <laughs> and honestly, that's a little <laughs> vague on the problem situation, but it's a short story. So they can't really give it any way. Otherwise, the story is already finished. Um, this is the second novella. I'm not actually f- sure if it's classified as a novella or a short story, um, but it's, it's pretty short, 56 pages. Um, but again, it's also only 99 cents. Um, it's the second book in the serial series, and I liked it just about as much as the first one. Um, there are still minor issues with the powers not having like well-defined limits described. Um, and I'm not opening that by like, I'm not saying there's a cost, but rather that the cost in combat is not always fit, um, kind of the math that you, you would expect to happen. I uh, like the very much smile, like, Oh, I can, I'm, I'm healing, healing. And then later like, Oh, I got tired. And then later it's like, Oh, I've, I got an upcrease. And so I can do more now, but there's no like real defined understanding of what that actually means in the story. So, um, that, that, that is still flowing over from, from the first book. And that's just, that's just a, a particular decision on how you're describing your, your game mechanics. The math may very well be there. Um, but it, it feels a little loose to me in the story. Um, but the other things which were entertaining but in, in the series in book one have also flowed through in book number two. Combat is so good. Um, there's a nice variety of opponents, which makes the fights entertaining. Um, but the plot is like, oh, it's a little it's a little forced. You're like, oh, they're only going back to these these fights to solve a problem that was intentionally created at the end of book one. I'm like, oh, okay, that's I, I guess I guess you have to have a reason to go back and and do these kind of battles. Um, but I'm like that's that's all it kind of feels that those 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 fights exist for. It's a sovereign problem intentionally created <laughs> in the story to to force them to go fight um, and advance. I'm like okay, I get it, but it's still interesting enough. Um, I did personally miss seeing more of a real world conflict. That was probably the, my favorite part of book one, more of the apocalypse um, side of the RPG apocalypse kind of gate fighting thing. Um, and that was a little less in here. There is setup for it for, 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 in it for, for book three. Um, but it's just like, I missed something that's kind of missed a little bit. Uh, so for me, still an interesting story, um, slightly less interim in the book one, but still, uh, gets a good score at 7.3 out of 10. That's Gate Wars Sprint, a little RPG novella, uh, with a score of 7.3 out of 10. If you, if you like short stories, this is entertaining.